Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to use the table of content tool in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. To simply locate the table of content tool, you come to the tool box and then you type table of content. Now that is it over here. So you simply click on it and then you draw on your canvas where you want to have the table of content object. One thing you need to know about the table of content too is that it works with headings. So if you are having headings on your page, so this is the heading option over here, object over here. If you are having headings on your page, then it's easier for you to be able to use the table of content. So let's just, before you continue, let's just double click on the table of content and see the options available. The top section over here is where you have the structure or you have the list of your table of content items over here. This can be generated automatically here when you are using heading objects here. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to be able to add your objects um, manually, you're also able to do that. But this is going to allow you to link to specific section of your website project. It will be easier if you are using the heading because if you have your page designed with headings at various section, Automatically, this is going to be able to identify them and create your list over here. But if you're adding them manually, it means you're linking them manually as well. So I'm going to leave this check over here. And then there, at the bottom part, you have the options. That is how you want your bullet um, list or style to display. These are various styles over here. So you have um, circle, you have decimal, and so on over here. And then you have the line height property as well as title, the size of uh, font you want to use over here, the indent, and then the length style. In case you have any styles, you can select them from here. If not, you can just go ahead to the style section and then create your styles from here. So I'm going to go ahead to close this, and then I'm going to go ahead to configure my table of content here. So I'm going to have a list of heading objects here or heading tags over here with some um, default content um, on my page. So I'm going to get started with my heading. Um, tag here. One thing you also need to know is that with a table of content working together with a heading tags, um, it skips all H1 heading tags. So if you are configuring this heading tag, you might want to change the size from H1 to H2 and the others instead of using H1. So if I change this to H2 and I keep this here, maybe I might want to change the size a little bit. So let's say this is going to be 20 instead of um, 24 that is because it is my h2 um, and then i'm going to get my um, sort of text here i'm just going to insect and get default um, text that i would want to use let me bring the text to first double click on this and then populate it to it uh, like about maybe um one paragraph here which is fine and then I'm going to change this to maybe introduction. And then I'm going to just duplicate this. So I'm going to copy this and paste it um, beneath it here. And then I'm going to change this to maybe overview. And then even to make it more interesting, I might able to add an image to this particular part so let me just add an image here and let me just select this as my image i'm going to keep this here and then i'm going to paste one more here and for this part this is going to talk about um descriptions oh yeah descriptions And for this, I can even bring an icon to represent whatever I want to show over here. Now, as you can see, I have the headings changed to H2 for all. So if I come here and then I leave this here and click on OK, you notice that my um, heading tags are showing. Now, if I come back here and then I change this to H1 and then I come here, and um, this is going to refresh you notice that the first one goes away because as i said earlier by default it takes away all h1 or it skips all h1 but instead focuses on the other heading tag sizes which start from h2 
So once you use that automatically, it's going to populate your heading um, table headings over here. And if I preview this in my browser, once I click on this, it is going to take me to that section. Once I click on this, because the page is not so long, that's why it's not scrolling. So if I want to make it longer, I simply have to add more text over here or just move this a little bit to the bottom. Then it's going to create a longer page for me. So that's once I click on any of them, it is going to take me to the respective section. So if I click on this, it takes me here. If I click on this, it takes me to the description section as well. So that is basically how to go about using the table of content tool. So as I said earlier, if you want to manually do this, then you might have to uncheck this. And then, so this is going to be like um, my links. Now, if I come here and I click on add, I have to specify the name. I have to type in this. And then when it comes to the link part, I might want to use the bookmark instead, but I haven't bought any bookmarks. So to be able to achieve that also, I have to come here and bring the bookmark to, which is going to so be here. I have to change the name of this particular bookmark object here from the ID section. So this is going to be intro. And then let me copy this from here and then paste it here, paste it here one more time. And this is going to be overview. So I'm going to come to the ID section and then change this to overview. And then this is going to be a description. So, and that will be about it. Let me just correct this. So that is it. Now, when I come back to my table of content and I hit on add, so this is going to be introduction. And when I come to the bookmark section, I select my intro as my link for it. And then I'm going to add another one, which is going to be overview. I specify my overview section. And then finally, I have my description where I select the description part of my bookmark object here. So once I go ahead to preview this in the browser, it's basically going to allow me to do the same thing to move me to the various section of my page. But as I said, it is easier if you are using the page headers and automatically just scanning for them and then adding them to your list. That will be about it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see it.